Hey everybody. Hey. It's Frank and Carrie. Today, it's a little bit different. <laughs> We're going to uh, talk about all the projects we have on the beast back in the, back there. We. The jewel. Yes, the jewel the in the, jewel. or the beauty, not the beast. Correct. Depending on what day it is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So we'll, uh, we want to talk about all the projects we have coming up. Mm -hmm. The projects we have that need to be done, but we can't do everything. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it all. That's what today's video is gonna be about. Yeah. So uh, hang with us. So here's one of the big projects. <laughs> we have to do the tower. Yes, we do. We're a little afraid that the rest of it's going to fall like this one did because as it gets colder the water's going to melt and get behind the rocks and it pushes them out so the problem is that we can't put any stone back up until spring because it's already started getting below freezing at night and we also a project is to put a roof on that. Carrie will throw a little uh, drone footage of it. Yes, of, of the the pretty, pretty roof. Yeah, <laughs> and that will uh, let people know we did a patch job on it, but it didn't quite hold up very long. She'll put a card about the uh, when we actually did it. Oh, this side of the house people don't get to look at very much. But up there is the old, uh, we got slate to put on up there. Of course, slate needs to be put on once. We can't put on that slate until we fix that dormer. And everybody saw us put that dormer down. So that's uh, another project. And of course, windows, windows everywhere and stone. And on this side of the house, we get to we get to do those box cutters here. This is the uh, wall we rebuilt, and that's cement you can see right there. But we need to build the box cutter back and put the cornice molding back up on these two areas. We need to take down. That's still the concrete form we have never gotten back up there to take down. So now the problem with that is we have to figure out how to redo the box gutters. We just haven't we haven't figured out exactly how we're going to do it yet. So that's another thing. One more project. Just a little bit. Speaking of box gutters, <laughs> We uh, have to redo these box gutters. There's, uh, there's the cornice molding down here that goes around the, the outside. This is the, the outside of the powder room? Yep. To give you reference of where this actually is. And then uh, this is, I think this is the first place I'm gonna try to do box gutters because it's closer to the ground yeah it's close to the ground and uh it's a small area that we don't we don't have to worry about connecting to anything mm -hmm. so we'll just be able to go from wall around to wall and once we do that box gutter one of the we'll be able to re redo this flat roof this flat roof is done but we have to get the actual permanent torch down roofing in, on it. And since you're right here, that box gutter here where the scaffolding is, that box gutter has to be redone so we can do the slate on the back side of the roof. That's what we're having to wait on the, the post in the attic and that box gutter needs redone so we can do the back side of the roof. 
Right, Carrie Lee? Right. We are actually on the lookout to find the pine post to go in the attic. So that is that is a project. Six by six by 16 feet long. Correct. So we are actually still looking for that. It's one of those we have to wait until it just falls in our lap. <laughs> I hope not. Those are heavy. A small little project we have to do is these front doors. Somebody actually mentioned them in last week's video. These uh, are really beautiful front doors. They have a carved, I think it's a griffin. And they have the big steel hinges, leaded glass, windows, and there's another big steel hinge. But see how thick they are? It's uh, big solid oak doors. Nice, uh, really cool doorknobs and everything. But that's the one of them. Of course, they're a pair. This one had a little more of a rough time. We have some of the glass but we will have to get new lead came and shape some of the or find somebody who can shape in fact if anybody knows who can uh, who does that kind of work who can uh, figure out how we can do it that'd be great let's see this one has a this one also has a Griffin, we think that's what it's called. We might find out in the comments, I'll bet, if, <laughs> if people know. <laughs> That'd be great. You guys are real good about uh, letting us know what stuff is, because we don't, we don't know what all this stuff is. Raccoon print. Nice raccoon print from uh, mm -hmm. raccoons playing in the house. But that's the front doors. And of course, that's a project for a, a nice cold day we can put heat on and pull them down and it, they just really need cleaned up and a, a coat of uh, shellac put on them that's probably what we'll use here we are in the music room, music room. <laughs> Carrie knows what they're all called and uh, the big one in here is the windows we still We'll probably be able to use most of this window frame. Of course, that window frame goes here. We'll have to take out the concrete forms that we have in there still and rebuild a little bit of it. The, of course, this uh, side needs to re be rebuilt and probably the, the sill. But the windows itself are, I think these are in pretty good shape. And for the big window, That's with our fake uh, drapes, it's right here. So we were kind of waiting until it got cold. So we didn't take any time away from uh, outside projects and stuff. but. We'll, uh, oh, there's the other, yeah. there's the other sash for that window. So the, the sashes are in really good shape for that, for this one. First of course, this is our marine. marine vinyl as the, when we put the vinyl windows in. Hey, they've held up really well, a lot better than I thought they would. So yeah. Yeah, they did. it's held out a little bit of the weather and our weights. If anybody has seen sash weights that are <laughs> built out of lead they're 40 pounds each that's how big this uh, sash is it's huge in fact we have that sash or sash is the top and bottom sash here's the frame for uh, that middle window and oh I know where they are they're upstairs nope they're, they're in the, the dining room, room. 
Man, it sure is nice walking around here with clean floors. <laughs> Carrie did a great job. Thank you. Kitchen. But this is what the sashes look like for that window. Only one of the sashes, the other one is just, we only have yeah. the glass. We got the glass behind it. And I don't know if it's wavy glass or not. We'll have to put it in some light somewhere and see if it's wavy glass. I think. But uh, it it's really funny. <laughs> We find uh, walnuts black, black all walnuts. around because the squirrels hide black walnuts in places. I know it seems like a silly hiding place, but they uh, they sure do like hiding them. Mm -hmm. And this is the old powder room area. This was the bathroom, a small bathroom with a a commode and a little sink right here. You can see where the wall was, right here. So the wall came down. We need to pull up the radiators from down there that go in this area. And the doors. And the doors. There's some big doors. Very heavy doors. But we kind of missed our opportunity to, to repoint all this stuff because, like I said, it's getting too cold now for working with mortar. We don't want it to freeze. And she, the, she's already cold in here. <laughs> she's a kitten. It's already cold. Yeah. Doesn't take her long to get cold. And we have, we think we're going to use the flooring we got that uh, is in here. In the music room. So that, that pile of flooring there is two and a half or two and a quarter, two and a half inch heart pine. And it's enough to do that powder room area in both hallways. So uh, that's where we think we're going to use it. Some of those pieces are, what, 16 feet long? Some yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's how they showed how rich they were. They, they used, they could get long pieces of flooring. But now back in this area, so that, that floor will go this area. Of course, we'll have to replace all the joists in here. So we have to tear that up and replace three. the joists. We got three of them in there. Another door to rebuild. I mean, not rebuild, but it's in good shape. We just have to clean it up. And the glass has right. probably been replaced. And you I wonder if it had... The, it might have had leaded glass at one time. It might have. The, uh, the door handle is the same kind of hardware is on the front doors. But yeah, all of this needs replaced. Mm -hmm. And while we're doing that, we have to redo the entire back stairwell. We'll have to... Carrie already talked about last week about uh, taking, this taking this ceiling down. So this ceiling needs to come down as well. But we've been waiting on some of this stuff to, till it got cold when we could, didn't, couldn't do any of the work outside. Right. Speaking of walnuts, we uh, found another. Here's the scaffolding, and uh, evidently the squirrel doesn't think anybody's gonna find <laughs> that walnut. They shoved it in there pretty good. I don't know if it's balanced that well or just uh, who knows. I haven't seen any others. Here's another couple windows need rebuilt. Yep. Our, uh, these ones are all marine vinyl. Got a couple sashes that are in good shape. Those will, those will be able to clean up really well. Of course, finding glass that size is not fun. But I think we have some, actually. That's the window frame for this window. Uh, the sashes I think are in the other room. Of course, uh, this is the window frame for the big window. Right. It might be in worse shape if you uh, can't tell. Well, that, that one was totally open and it had a tub in front of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can put a picture of that 
how that looked because yeah. when we took the drone out that one time and that's where they are so these these sashes are in good shape as well right so we'll have two good sashes to put back in there I mean the glass is there and everything so we'll just have to reglaze those <laughs> so this I mean the this is stuff that we've been waiting to do during the winter yes yes because uh, we are out of video so we're uh, <laughs> yeah this we're up to real time right now right and we don't know what we're going to do with all this lath we kept it because we thought we might re be able to reuse it so we got to experiment with uh, how we're going to plaster right and the dreaded maid's room <laughs> yeah it's dreaded all right so in the maid's room we don't know exactly what we're doing but we need to fix a leak in that corner right we really need to clean up the debris in here get it off there's lots of plaster Maybe we could uh, get that propane stove running, we'd have some heat. That'd be nice. But this, if, if you guys remember, this uh, used to be a, an open air porch. They called it a sleeping porch. Mm -hmm. So that side would have been open with a couple of posts. And this side would have been open with a couple of posts. But we haven't held up with temporary walls because that's a, the only way to hold it up right now. Yeah. Because there's a... The posts are gone. They are. But this one, we've also been waiting on because we don't want to open everything back up again. This is a, we don't know exactly what we're doing because we don't know if we want to make it back into a sleeping porch or if we want to close it in again. So. That's a few of our projects. What do you think, Carrie? You think we'll get them all done this winter? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We got quite the list. Yeah, we made a list. How about that? Yeah, we do. We do have a list. All right. Thanks a lot for uh, sticking with us this week. Thanks for watching. What are my girls doing? Mia, Minnie. What are, oh, what are my girls doing? You being all sweet on the tree? Huh? Are you being all sweet on the tree? Are you being all sweet on the tree, Mia? Hmm? My good girls. My good girls.